The Gentleman Who Breaks Taboos As I was being guided to the parlor room, these words became stuck in my head. Guided to the introduction room, I waited as the young man poured sake for me when the door opened. I have brought the gentleman that you shoots. My name is Tokiwa. I just met you before though. Following the young gentleman, Tokiwa-san walked over to the edge of the parlor room. Though I just talked to him before this, my eyes were still taken by his impressive looks. That chest action going on! Are you not juicy to get sake? Tokiwa-san sat down next to me and brought his shoulder in close to mine. Oh, uh, oh, uh, no, I, I mean... His body leaned up against me. His exposed bare chest was so wide, it made me wonder if it would ever been in the sun before. Maybe he hasn't. Maybe he's a vampire. Maybe he's a vampire fuckboy. Told ya. Told ya. This is the red light district. The first thing is to enjoy yourself and not be so stiff. Well, do you know we're having a special banquet? Entertain me! <laughs> His voice turned so whiny. Tokawa-san clapped his hands to signal the young gentleman that were called for the banquet. The prestigious, beautiful man danced gorgeously to the sounds of the shamisen. A luxurious banquet with extravagant dishes arranged on trays. Hey, that's with vibrancy! You bored a client! More than everything, the presence of Tokiwa, the gentleman who sat next to me, was... Ah. This was the banquet. This was a banquet in the red light district. It was absolutely breathtaking to experience it for the first time. Still got the stiff expression. Tokiwa-san looked at me and chuckled in a friendly manner. Would a top gentleman laugh at me in such an easy going way? Banquets are for enjoyment. Well then, I'm going to do something for you. After saying that, Tokiwa-san suddenly raised his quiet voice. <laughs> yep, so quiet. As we had remembered something. I'm sorry, I haven't asked your name yet, have I? Look, it, it's back loving booty. <laughs> Perfect. Your name has a nice ring to it. Alright, for you, booty, I'll show you an outstanding dance right here. He then stood up and walked towards the center of the room. The dance that I will now show you is the pride of Kikuya's Tokiwa. With ceremonious politeness, Tokiwa san pulled a folding fan out from the belt around his waist. Then he opened the fan and started to dance to the sounds of the shamisen played by the gentleman. Like a butterfly. Like a flower. He danced like a flower. His gold hair, hidden by the deep red fan, and his green eyes were, were visible through the fan's gaps. He would sometimes look at me and narrow his eyes in an inviting manner. I wonder why my heart was racing. I thought about this the whole time as I watched as I watched his dance. Suddenly, Tokuba-san stopped dancing and kneeled down before me. You've finally shown your true feelings, haven't you? You, you mean me? Yeah, it looks like your cheeks have turned red. Like, totally immersed. <laughs> this specific dance was like so good that you'd be captivated. Right? Yeah. yeah, yes. You're a, you're a good dancer, aren't you, Tokiwa? Yeah, you understand well. Among the arts, I have a bit of confidence in my dancing and singing. You've got a pretty good eye to notice in a single glance. In a very good mood, Tokuba-san put the folding fan inside the belt around his waist. 
But, but, does a top gentleman let his guard down like this on their first encounter with a client? Usually not, but night is special. I entertained you because you're cute and innocent. I, I didn't know that. I'm sorry. If you aren't used to it and can't enjoy yourself, then I feel bad for you. Tokuba's on screen eyes shine, and then he winked me. <laughs> then he winked me. It's quite a rare thing to see my dance on your first time. I feel like special. You're like so special. <laughs> this is only for you. And I've totally not said this to like every girl that comes here. Like, absolutely not. Totally. Only for me. Is that true? The gentle sounds of his, wor of his words made it seem like I would misunderstand him. Now that you're relaxed, let's continue the banquet. Today is the day that we drink stuck together for the first time. We should enjoy it, right? Tokuba-san once again sat down next to me and poured sake into my surprisingly empty cup. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Once the bank had reached its peak, the gentlemen and entertainers in the room started to leave. Tokuba-san saw them up and mumbled in a small voice. It's about time. Is it over already? Yes, the bank it is. Tokuba-san, who was next to me, next to me, smiled alluringly. It was only Tokuba-san and I in the room. Only the light of a lantern lit up Tokuba-san's beautiful face. This place is the number one high-class house of pleasure in Yoshiwara. Booty, you use your money to buy a mat. Me. I thought she didn't have any money. She didn't have any money and she was too young. Booty, what's going on with you? Even though it's your first time here, you understand what that means, don't you? Bye. Tokuba-san quickly dragged his legs toward me, closing the distance between us. His hand crawled across the, across the floor and covered my hand. <sighs> when it gets to be 8pm, it's about time for bed. You go to bed at 8pm? Wow. From now on, it will be a night of play for a man and a woman alone. Oh no. Oh no! Tokuba-san slowly came closer to me and whispered. His white finger started... Finger. His singular finger started to, twi to twine themselves with my fingers. His singular finger! One of his fingers. Because his finger is super long. And can twine with all of her fingers. Yes. Totally. Yep. Like there was some kind of creature. Yep. Totally. Called it. I told you I'll teach you how to play in the red light district. In other words, I'll teach you woman's pleasure. To Tokiwa san! I'll teach you how to make love and be loved. All from the beginning and in a very clear way. I feel like this game would be so much better if it just went totally sex ed on her. Like taught her everything about why consent is important and different positions and that penetrative sex is the only way to have sex. That would make this game so many times better. That would be amazing. Booty, which do you prefer? As you wish, you may obtain either the ultimate pleasure or supreme joy here. I I it's your first time, isn't it, booty? Look at this injury action! Oh! Just as he said, today was indeed my first time. It was the first time in my life to see this place and be touched like this. So, I like to shoot. What would you like me to do? Talk about some brought this available finger to my shin. 
his pale finger, which looked which looked to have done no heavy physical work before, glided across my skin. Booty, do you feel that you'd like to sleep with me? Like, why, why wouldn't you? I mean, look at me. So hot. Or... Tokubas and brought his face closer to mine. Do you have another preference? Oriental, his voice tickled my ears and ties and lead. He's like, Where are you kings? I'm like, I'm like down for all the stuff. Like, all the weird stuff. Why don't you tell me your feelings? I. Please take care of it. Please take care of my vagina. Please take care of it. I don't know if you're just gonna be like ah, just 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 take care of it, just do whatever. I'm mm. uh, just gonna be like um, I, no, I don't know what to say to you man. This is Yoshiwara. In this red light district it's only natural for women to buy men. But I'm still not da -da -da -da. You gotta keep quiet again. You can't make up your mind, or are you just too embarrassed to speak? It's alright, come here. Booty, I'll understand all the feelings that you can't say. Tokuba-san pulled my hand and opened the sliding door that led to the inner chamber. In the room, there was a single luxurious bed. And all those pink lights, whoa, so sensual, so erotic. That means... Dot, dot, dot. Though I already understand what this meant at this point, my legs had begun to shake. <laughs> you okay? N no, I, I mean. Your legs, voice, and your small lips, they're like all shaking. Are they like cold or something? I was really scared. I was scared of what would happen next. But the gentleman next to me didn't change his, his expression at all. I'll teach you. Come here, booty. As he pulled my hand, he sat down on the bed in the center of the room. Chapter 1 complete! Woo! Yes, I really like to see. Look, the, these are not my saves. These are my sister's saves. These are not mine. I have never played these roots. These are mine. So I'm just gonna save over him. Oop. Chapter 2. I just wanted to tease you. Oh! I didn't know that! Aww! 